A letter from Titanic's shipping company apologizing for losing a wine delivery because the liner sank has been uncovered after lying uncovered in wine merchant's desk drawer for decades. The letter from White Star Line, dated April 16, 1912, apologizes to Barry Bros and Rudd for losing 69 cases of its wine and spirits which were being transported on the ship. The letter reads, Dear Sirs, referring to your shipment by this steamer, it is with great regret we have to inform you that the Titanic foundered at 2. 20 a.m. 15th instant, after colliding with an iceberg, and is a total loss. Details of shipment are shown at foot. Yours faithfully, for White Star Line. There is no mention of the people who died in what is regarded as one of the greatest disasters at sea. A framed copy of the historical letter also now hangs on the wall at Barry Bros and Rudd, no. 3 St. James Street, London. Share this article, share Jordy Willis. Creative director for Barry Bros and Rudd said, 69 cases of wine were on board the Titanic when it sank. They would have contained a few still wines, mostly spirits, fortified wine and champagne. The letter was rediscovered, and at that point the original was put in a safe, and a copy of it was hung on a wall. Recent work with an archivist brought the original letter to my attention and I decided to take a photo of the original document and post it on Instagram. Before it was rediscovered, the company knew of the letter's existence, but not where it actually was. It had been in an employee's draw and was found when the desk was tidied out upon retirement. We also have a handwritten sales ledger from 1909-1912 and found the entries for the wines that were aboard the Titanic in that when we got it rebound a few years ago. The ledger reveals that replacement orders of the wine and spirits were sent out after the ship sinking. The 69 cases of wine would have been loaded onto the fateful ship before it set sail from Southampton, Hans on April 10, 1912. Mr. Willis added, Now, the letter will be kept as part of the company's history. It is kept in the safe to preserve it and rarely sees the light of day. A copy of the letter is available to see on the wall in Barry Bros and Rudd's home at No. 3 St. James Street, London, 